When you say wellness, it's very much about financial wellness. But what we've seen through research is that there's a close correlation between your physical health and your financial health. So that's the link because often people would see a financial institution in sport and they try and make the link. But they are closely linked, your health and your wealth. So firstly, seeing active youngsters on the field is wonderful for us. But then secondly, we're not just about the financial well-being of individuals. We're also for the financial well-being of communities and families. And cricket as a platform really brings families and communities together, as we see happening around the field at the moment. We've got a lot of families and parents sitting around the field, cheering on their youngsters. And I think for us, that is really you know, something that's close to our hearts, to the point where, similar to the international matches, the One Day Internationals, we've decided to activate a little momentum family area at these matches as well, specifically to invite those family members to come and enjoy the momentum family area, where they can then support the players on the field. I think what's important to take into account is that you know, at every level youngsters need goals and youngsters playing cricket need to aspire to something. So at primary school level, representing your province is the highest honour that you can achieve. So lots of youngsters in the under 13 age group will want to represent the province at a national tournament. You know, so it gives them exposure, it also allows them to aim at higher level you know, thereafter. So I think you know, it's important to have these kind of tournaments to keep the interest going and to sustain the development in the game. I think boys of this age group at the under 13 level is very competitive and I think it makes it very exciting playing against children from other provinces. Well if you're looking at the competitive nature of the children they take it very seriously and um, obviously playing against the best of the cricketers in, in, in the whole of South Africa makes it very competitive and the boys take it very seriously. Well, you know, sometimes we believe cricket have chosen us, but for many years, in fact, we were very keen on being involved in cricket. And of course, a number of years ago, the door opened for us. At that stage, it was one day cricket international and domestic. And then another door opened for us with the opportunity of getting involved on a club level, now on a schools level, and even on a development level. And for us, that's a massive privilege, you know, for these youngsters to play and see the same brand next to the field as when A.B. de Villiers is playing overseas or locally, is something special and I think for us to be able to be involved now from a development level through to schools level into club level domestic level and then international is, is something that we feel very privileged about. Well I think in the last few years uh, CSA under 13 cricket has not had a sponsor so I think this funding it makes it much more easier for for the boys to participate in a tournament of this nature and without momentum it makes it very difficult so obviously forging that partnership with Momentum makes it much more easier for the boys to participate at this level. I think it's good, you know, for a tournament to have a particular identity. Uh, Momentum being the kind of company it has and the values that it promotes is good for these youngsters. At the end of the day, Momentum is just not about uh, putting money into this tournament. There's a lot more that these youngsters can learn. The new initiative at this tournament is that we kick off the tournament with the Momentum Pledge. We get a high caliber player to read out. So the youngsters learn certain values that they can take forward. So yeah, therefore, you know, it's, it's good to have a sponsor. Ultimately, there's only a number of players that actually at the end of the day, walk out and play for the Proteus. But what happens to the players when they are not necessarily playing for the Proteus? Are they South Africans contributing positively to this great nation? And are they still massive fans of the game of cricket? And that's what we want to establish. We want to spread the love of the sport and, and through that, build a nation. And that's really the way we see it.